Hey, honey fresh. Bill Gates' channel just dropped a new vid. It's a trailer for a Netflix movie called What's Next? Starring Bill Gates and Lady Gaga and Bono and all your favorite stars. And it's about the future and the challenges. So I'm going to leave a direct link to this, but I thought you might want to see this. Netflix, of all places, is producing this Bill Gates narrated movie about our future. And I'll stop here and there and critique it for entertainment and educational purposes, of course. This is a show about our future. See, gotta stop already. He's talking about our future. Now, who is the our? Because there's the Bill Gates and friends, and then there's the rest of us. So, who is the hour that Bill's referring to? I think this Netflix movie will tell us. The world is facing a lot of big challenges right now. Climate change. Creating responsible AI. Misinformation. Income inequality. Dealing with infectious diseases. But I believe we can solve them. Bill thinks we can overcome all these challenges already with the God complex going on. They all possess this thing. They really truly believe that they were divinely placed to make the decisions for the rest of us. They're in their own world. You got to watch and listen to this carefully. And I encourage others to look at this video and give us some insight on what you're seeing here. Because I'm just telling you that I believe there's a lot here that we can glean. You know what I'm saying? How will artificial intelligence impact society? Craft a text to my son using Gen Z slang. Yo fam, what's good? How you vibing? At a certain point, AI will be good enough to build a better AI. So AI builds a better AI, which builds a better, which builds better, which builds better, which builds better. They literally show AI turning into a monster and laugh about it. Look at this thing. This is literally one of the Lovecraftian old ones that Gordy Rose talked about when he was talking about AI. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons. They're not evil but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So what do these Lovecraftian old ones look like? Oh, just like the image that they give us in the Netflix Bill Gates movie, talking about AI, spitting image of the same types of creatures. I mean, this thing is loaded, man. It's getting hard to write science fiction. <laughs> There's always been conspiracy theories. We underestimate how creative Americans are. Bill Gates is part of a reptilian race that includes Tom Hanks and Lady Gaga. You gotta love how they reveal themselves hiding in plain sight and then mocking you about it because they really do look at themselves as a different species. They are not on the same playing field, and you have to understand that. They take counsel with the powers and principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. That's who they serve. Entertainment and information are a lot closer together than they ever have been before. There's no way to stop it. What they're telling you is through the censorship and the internet identification systems and everything they're putting in, your information will essentially be entertainment because you will be censored from being able to obtain your own information in order to discern a matter for yourself. Things like anti-Semitism Bill 6090 will essentially ban things from your access and be outlawed, criminalized. Things like scriptures in our Bible, for instance, because that is the main target of their censorship program. They will eventually literally ban the word of God and come up with a new Bible, one that's correct created by AI. Um, AI can create new ideas, 
can even write a new Bible. Can even write a new Bible. And Bill claims he doesn't have a solution, where in fact they know exactly what their solution is, and they're applying it right before our eyes. I don't have the the solution. Come on, Bill. So, <laughs> <laughs> we have to give up hydrocarbons almost entirely. Now a lot of people have figured this out by now, but. When Bill Gates and the like make statements such as we have to eliminate all hydrocarbons, they're essentially saying we need to destroy creation because these are the building blocks of creation. To eliminate human population, that's what this really all boils down to. They are openly declaring intending to destroy God's creation. So that can build it back better. Climate change benefits by having lots of young activists. I operate from love of my home and the people. You got to have the emotional manipulation. Can't have a good con job without adding some emotion in there. Carry on. I learn from them just like I do from the scientists coming up with the breakthroughs. We have the obscene situation where there are three people, you being one of them, who own more wealth than the bottom half of America. Is the system working? In your judgment, is it working? What do you think? So Bill goes to Bernie Sanders for advice, another pillar of wisdom. It looks like it's working pretty well for you, Bernie and Bill, wouldn't you say? So we've got a lot of work to do. The sooner, the better. The sooner, the better. The sooner, the better. The better, the better. My hope to eradicate malaria in my lifetime. I want to eradicate it in my oh, lifetime. Yeah. It's a tougher constraint. So. If Bill Gates didn't exist, we'd have to make him up. If we did, no one believes. If Bill Gates didn't exist, we'd make him up, and no one would believe the character. Well, yeah, that's probably true because he's straight out of a Marvel X-Men comic strip. And I love how they're just pulling from this pool of the wealth and knowledge and understanding of the world with Lady Gaga and Bernie Sanders and Bono. The character. We have to drive innovation to get ahead of these challenges. Do you think we can do it? Absolutely. Absolutely, we can usurp God and form an insurrection against him because he was flawed in his creation. Therefore, we must destroy it and rebuild it back better in our own image. Meanwhile, deceiving the nations and hunting their souls. And I will reiterate, the only defense against this adversary is the spirit of the living God that seals you until the day of redemption. And the only way to obtain that is believe that Jesus, the Christ, died for our sins and was buried and rose again the third day, defeating death all according to the scriptures, thus sealing you till the day of redemption. This is the most important thing you can ever, ever do. I believe this is probably one of the last warnings we're going to get before things go in such a direction that you're not going to have the mindset, the peace, the wherewithal to be able to establish yourself and build a foundation in Jesus Christ. Because on that rock alone will you be able to stand. Like I said, I'll leave a link to this. There's a lot more that can be discerned through this biblically, but I wanted to get this in front of people at least. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, 